Hello everyone. This is du hello everyone. This is Dwayne Golden. I'm here with a very special guest that I'm going to be introducing in just a moment. But the right thing to do right now is to first let's just uh, in our in our excitement for what's been going on and the, the great valuable uh, lessons and things we're learning from so many guests we've seen over the past few weeks. Certainly, let's certainly show some respect to our guest and um, refrain from posting links in the window, trying to recruit people for your biz op and things like that. This is an open forum. Anyone's welcome from wherever they are. And at the same time, certainly let's open our hearts. Oops, our hearts aren't up here. Let's open our hearts and our mind and be ready, certainly, for some of the great wisdom and value that we'll get from tonight's special guest. I'll tell you myself that over the years, in my love for my very own mother, I've researched so many great women in history and I've seen a great common underlying theme, underlying uh, sense of the world through re uh, reviewing and understanding more about these women. I remember when I first read and understood about the great Harriet Tubman, Abigail Adams, the president, the wife of President Adams. I read so many about so many historical women and realized when a woman steps into her power, the power get granted to her from birth when, from God himself, when a woman steps into that, she's more powerful than a team of people who know nothing about their power, more powerful than even men who stepped into their power and gave it back, such as people like Hitler. But what I love most is to see people who who become faithful over those few things that God's given them so they could be ruler over many. And tonight, I, I'm sitting here as I'm going through some, some treatment stuff. I'm not feeling good, but I have no excuses. I learned from our guest tonight. I'm feeling kind of yucky about the stomach, but you see the smile on my face? It's representative of what we're going to hear from this guest who tonight screams from the mountaintops, there's no excuse. We just have to work with what we've been given and make magic with it, make mountains move with it. And tonight, you're going to hear that. So once again, everyone that's here, hello. Won't you join me in welcoming the amazing Tawana Williams tonight as she shares her story, not of limitation, not of disability, but of ability of empowered movement inside of herself to help change this world. I introduce her to you as a as a as a uh, uh, published author, as a a painter, as a motivational speaker who's speaking on the stage with Les Brown and so many others. The amazing, wonderful Tawana Williams. Thank you, Tawana, for being here, my dear. Thank you so much, Dwayne. Hey everybody, this is an awesome opportunity for me to just share my heart and to let you know that all things are possible to them that believe. Thank you so much, Dwayne. It's my pleasure, my dear. So tonight, we want to hear from you. We know that you have been going around the world sharing with people this message of hope, whether they're a woman or a male, whether they come from nothing or come from something, you have a message to help people to realize they have more than enough to accomplish all they've been created to do. Tell us about that. Tell us about, my goodness, what it is that can happen for each of these people as they each have a purpose. Wow. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tawana Williams, your messenger of hope and inspiration. And I was blessed to be born without arms and impaired use of my legs due to the drug thalidomide that was given to my mother when she was pregnant with me. But guess what? I had a mother that told me there was nothing that I could not do. And I had a Grandma Rogers that did not play with me. She did not pacify me. And when I was four and a half years old, she looked me in the eye and she said, T, you must not have needed arms because God didn't give them to you. She right. said, nothing's missing. If you don't have it, then you don't need it. Good God almighty. I am so excited about my life. But you know what, Dwayne? I've overcome some major adversity throughout my life. I was gang raped many years ago during a home invasion. 
All raised right. by my stepfather. I was addicted to crack and cocaine for 10 long years. I've oh. experienced abortion, motherhood, and a stroke. So I know that I'm here to help you overcome whatever adversities you may be facing in your life. And that's why I am unarmed but dangerous. Woo. That's who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put my seatbelt on. I see you already got started. Let me go ahead and put my seatbelt on and get strapped in here so I so that I can hang in there with you since you're so unarmed and dangerous. Yes. Go ahead. That's who I am. And ladies and gentlemen, what I want to let you know tonight that there are no excuses acceptable. If you want it, then I'm going to give you the information. I'm going to give you the tools and the resources to take your life into onto the next level. I you know, I don't play with it. I don't I don't pacify you. I'm giving you some instruction and some direction into your own life. I am a Les Brown platinum speaker and Les Brown did not play with me. So I'm not going to play with you. I'm going to give you some information that's going to catapult your business, your finances, your mindset and your life. So so right now I want you to get your pen and paper ready, get your iPad or whatever you get to uh, uh, take notes. I want you to get ready for this information because I'm a fast talker. I'm a shaker and a mover, and I don't play with my stuff. Is that all right, Dwayne? Oh, my goodness, yes. It's quite all right. I, I got everything here. I'm ready to roll. You go ahead and let us have it. As um, I can tell you right now that your message is already starting. And it's already starting to resonate in this, so you just go ahead and let it go. There's no limitation here. You already know you just no excuses. Take your time. You're done when you're done. And we just thank you for being here with us. Thank you. Amen. What I want to say, first of all, is I want you to remove, I'm here to remove the negative story in your head that you've been telling yourself about you. You know that raggedy story? Uh, it's not possible for me. I can't do this. I don't have do I don't have this. I don't have that. All of that, that's out the door today. No more excuses, and we're ready to go to the next level. So right now, I want you to think about your dreams, your hopes, and your aspirations. And what is it that you want to do with your life right now that you have not done? Think about that. What is it that you want to do with your life right now that you have not done? What are some of the things that you've allowed to control you and to define the possibilities of who you are? Whatever those things are, I want you to think about those things and get ready to now experience a new part of yourself that perhaps you're not even aware of. You see, I'm a speaker, an author, an artist. I'm a woman of many gifts. And my passion is to help people to live their dreams, change the directions of their lives, and to overcome whatever adversities they may be facing in life. And in my best-selling book, Unarmed But Dangerous, I talk about what I realized and discovered about myself. And looking at my life and going through my life and observing people, watching people do things around me, uh, all of my life, th things that I really wanted to do, and I kept ru ruling those things out for me, Dwayne. I ruled my myself out. I said, Tawana, you can't do it. You don't have arms. You don't have a college degree. You don't have this. You don't have that. And at some point, I stopped, and I got stuck in that stuff. So what I'm telling you tonight is that all things are possible to them that believe. If you're a believer, then I'm talking to you. If you're a believer, then you can do this. I'm going to give you some life-changing principles, some prosperity principles, some tips and some, some information that's going to help you go to the next level in your life. Because I realized the only thing I had to do, Dwayne, was to give myself permission to do it. You know, I gave myself permission, and then I got started. I told myself I could do it. I said, Tawana, you can do it. You can have it. It's yours. You can believe it. You can achieve it. It's tangible. Go get your stuff. And guess what? I did it. I told myself yes, and the rest is history. So the first thing I want you to write down is to give yourself permission to do it. Good God Almighty. I'm excited. Woo. Give yourself permission. Thank you. Release. Permission granted. Yes. Ooh. Tell yourself yes. 
every day. I don't care what somebody else told you they couldn't do. I'm telling you tonight, you can do this. All things are possible to them that believe. If you're a believer, then I'm talking to you. So give yourself permission. The next thing I want you to write down is reprogram your mind. Everything starts in the mind. You got to reprogram that thing every now and then. And tell yourself you can do it. And tell yourself it's possible. You mm. got to make it happen for yourself. I had to reprogram my mind. I do it every day, Dwayne. I have to. You know, I, I turn the television off. I open a book. I read, read, and read, and continue to read. Don't you know that you read uh, so much that at some point it's going to fill your pocket? You know, the information is going to fill your wallet or your bank account. Good God. Reprogram your mind. Turn the television off. Turn the cell phone and the two ways and the this and the that off. And read some things that you've never read so that you can have some things that you've never had. I'm talking to you, ladies and gentlemen. You got the power to do this. Reprogram your mind. Some of us, 20, 30, 40 years of, I can't do it. It's not possible. I'll never have it. I want this. I can't. Do no, 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 no. That's over. Reprogram your mind. Would you want to Tawana. Inter interject? Tawana, I, yeah. I, you, I, you, I, you're going. I mean, you're cruising, and I love it. You know, the most common thing I see among successful people is this thing of reprogramming. Yes. You know, if you turn the television to NBC, CBS, ABC, you can see their programming for the month, this season's programming. And folks don't realize it. Folks won't pick up a book, but they will watch their favorite show. I also saw this quote-unquote guru the other day putting on Facebook, I don't read, there's no time for that, I just do. And the, un the sad thing about that, that person's limitation is, they believe that just taking action without the knowledge is all they need. And I'm here, I just love what you're saying. It resonates with us. Thank you so much. I love it. We need to first give ourselves permission and then reprogram our minds. I got it. I just wanted to make sure I re-clarify for folks so they can stay with you because, you know, you have been going 75, 80 mile an hour. I'm going to bring us down to 55 for a second, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. Can I go now? Oh, please go. Go ahead. Uh Sometimes I talk too fast. No, no, it's good. It's, what, it's the way we want it. Just don't slow down. Do your thing. If they need clarified, I'll bring it in there. It's all good. Absolutely. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. So we talked about the reprogramming your mind. Then what I want you to do is I want you to create what you want. Some of us, you know, the world, let me back up. The world told me years ago that I couldn't get a job. Guess what I was crazy enough to do, Dwayne? I created my own job. Wow. Today, I am the CEO of Tawana Williams Outreach. I write my own paychecks. I do what I want. I, I, <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? I just make things happen. Today, mm. I'm living in 3D, ladies and gentlemen. I'm debt-free, drug-free, and drama-free. Hallelujah. <laughs> and ain't nobody mad. I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> I, I created what I wanted. You know, oh. and you've got that same power. I know I'm not the only one that's been abused, that's been rejected, mistreated, addicted. You have the potential and the power to do the same thing. Go create what you want. Some of us have got uh, pink slips recently, last week, last month. That wasn't your job in the first place. Go that create is. what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I yeah, so, so create what you want. Then the next thing I want you to do is I want you to be confident in knowing who you are. Stand up straight. Hold your head up. Some of us walk around with our head down low, and, and, you know, looking like we've been a, a, a subjected and rejected and all that good stuff. So what I'm telling you today is make it happen for yourself. You know, build build your confidence. I tell myself every day, I said, Tawana Williams, you are the bomb.com today. You are bad to the bone, even without arms. I'm just saying, I make things happen for myself. You know, I create what I want. I, yes. I speak life to myself. I, yes. I, I, I encourage myself on a daily basis. I mm. affirm myself every day, even without arms, Dwayne. I'm just saying that is powerful. Well, you know what tells me, Tawana? I know a lot of folks tonight, they believe they have excuses. You know, 
they may have lost that job. They may be sick. They may have gone through a horrible divorce. And just alone, it may be that someone cheated on someone. I don't know what the story is, but it, it just goes to prove it was never arms that would give us the power that we were created to have anyway. It wasn't eyes. It wasn't even legs. It's yeah. showing that the power that's within us has more to do with our mind and what we were created for than it does any type of fingers, toes, arms, and legs. And we love you for the message. We don't hear it enough. Mm, you talking right. That's what I'm telling you. My grandma Rogers didn't play with me. <laughs> you said, P, you must not have needed arms because God didn't give them to you. That statement resonates. My grandma Rogers has been dead since 1995. But that message and that just that statement has resonated loud and clear in my heart daily. And let I'm tell telling you tonight, you let can. Let I want to do an intermission just for a second. I want folks tonight who is feel, who's feeling sorry for themselves, and maybe maybe they they are are armed, but they're dangerous to themselves. If Ooh. you're using your arms for the wrong things, Ooh. then guess what? Shame on you. Maybe Ooh. using it tonight to steal or to fraud. Maybe using it tonight to hold the wrong person that doesn't even belong to you. Ooh. I'm here. To, I want you to listen to this message that Tawana's given you. Because there's something greater that if you do have them, that they're meant for. If you don't, that's okay because she's got a message about that too. Please listen and have your mind open to every part of how this can, to, they can touch your life, particularly if you're in, in having a pity party, pity party and feeling down for yourself. Go ahead, my dear. Knock it out of the park. Yes, absolutely. And so, as I was saying, just be confident in knowing who you are. Speak life into yourself daily. Pat yourself on the back. You know, I don't even have a hand to pat on the back, but good God almighty, if I had one, I'd be slapping my back every day. I'm just saying, <laughs> this thing is powerful to me. <laughs> And after that, I want you to stay focused. Write that down. Stay focused with no more distractions. Good God. D distractions, you know, they come to make you, to, 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 to mess you up. So I'm telling you today, don't go to the left. Don't go to the right. I want you to stay focused and keep your eye on the prize. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, stay down the road. Keep looking down the road. Not right here at the road. Keep looking down that road. And I'm telling you, at some point, your life is going to change. Your 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 finances are going to change. Your your you know your lifestyle. Everything about you is going to change when you stay focused on what you want. Then what I want you to do is I want you to find your passion. Some people don't even know why they're here, what they're oh, good at. Find your passion. You know that thing that won't let you sleep. It <laughs> stays on your mind. You, you, you couldn't rest. And then when you figure it out what it is, then you, you end up doing it and doing it hard. And, 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 you know, people will pay you to do what you love to do. Good God almighty. I'm talking to somebody. Go find your passion. I found mine. Even without arms, I found my passion. And here I am today, 18 years strong, helping people. You know what, Dwayne? My husband told me and I, we've been traveling this country for 18 years. And guess wow. what? Nine and a half of those years, we did it for free. Good God. Wow. It, you know, it's just a blessing to do it for free, to do it so well that then one day people will pay you to do what you love to do. That's who I am, and you can do it too, so go find your passion. Make it happen for yourself. Then I want you to start speaking life, speaking what you expect. Write that down. Speak what you expect. Don't you know words have power? Words have power to kill or build. You know that story, sticks and stones and all that raggedy uh, stuff, you know. That, that negative stuff. That that's that's not who you are. So I'm telling you today, start speaking life. Before I was debt free, drama free, and drug free, I was speaking that thing, Dwayne. Mm -hmm. I knew that at some point I was gonna be 
delivered from my lifestyle and that mindset and that drug addicted lifestyle, that chaotic life. And guess what? In 1991, I paid attention. I made a conscious decision that I was going to get my life together, that I was going to change some stuff about me. And I did it. And you can do it too. Nothing so, you know, I don't care how bad it is. You can do it. Make it happen for yourself and go to the next level in your life. Mm, mm, mm. I'm ready. Oh my, I'm just ready, young lady. Thank I'm you. Excited. I'm sorry, Dwayne. I was just excited. No, you should be excited. I, I just thank you. Keep going. Don't stop. We're good. We're yes. loving it. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited about life and what's to come, and letting you know that all things are possible to them that believe. So make it happen for yourself. The next thing I want you to write down is no more excuses. Mm -hmm. Write that down because that thing is powerful to me. Now that statement resonates every day. I, that is is just powerful. No more excuses. I want you to leave your excuses at the altar tonight. I know we're all on, on the computer, but whatever your altar may be, it might be at your bedside, it might be on your pillow, whatever it is, you know, leave it, leave it today. No more excuses. If you want it, then don't let yourself have, don't, don't give yourself more, any more excuses not to happen. Go get it for yourself. I did it without arms. What can you do? Think about that. If I did it without arms, what can you do? What is it that you want to do with your life right now that you have not done? No more excuses, ladies and gentlemen. If you want it, then by God, you can get it tonight. If you want it, I'm giving you the information and the tools and the resources tonight so that you can go, go there and get your stuff back. I want you to put your big draws on, ladies, and make it happen for yourself. I want you to man up, men, and make it happen for yourself. No more excuses. Mm -hmm. If you want it, then go get it. The next thing I want you to write down is figure it out. You know, mm -hmm. in my life, that's who I am. That's my middle name. My name is Tawana Figure It Out Williams because I know every day, Dwayne, that there is something that I'm going to have to figure out with no instructions no or no direction. You just have to figure it out. That's who I am. I'm Tawana Figure It Out Williams, and you got that power to go get it too. Go get your stuff. If you want it, then don't give the enemy, your the, the enemy in you, no more excuses to not go get it. Good God Almighty, go make it happen for yourself. Speak life into yourself. Tell yourself you can do it. Empower yourself. Stay focused on the task at hand. You know, the only reason that I was able to, make, to to write five books in seven years is because I stayed focused and I made it happen for myself. Nobody told me what to do. I just figured it out and I did it. Good God. And you can do it too. I'm telling somebody. I'm talking to somebody right now. The, 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 the information is streaming. The people are excited about this information. I'm talking to you. Go get your stuff back. The next thing I want you to do is Get a mentor. Write that down. Get you a mentor. Find somebody doing what you want to do. Shut your mouth. Pay attention. Follow the leader. And at some point, it's going to be history. Good God. That's what I did. I found Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy, the top fifth speaker in the world, my personal mentor. He said yes. I said yes. I followed him. I paid attention. I took notes whenever he was there. I, and whenever I was in his presence, I was writing things down. That's right. With my toes. If I wasn't writing, I was typing. With my feet. I type 35, 40 words a minute with my toes. I don't play with my stuff. I make things happen. Good God almighty. I'm talking to somebody tonight. You got the power to do this. Get you a mentor. Find somebody doing it. And when you find somebody, don't get a raggedy mentor, a broke mentor. Find yeah. somebody doing it hard. Yeah. Find somebody making it happen. Find somebody that's uh, that that's a you know that's that's a king or a queen at it. They're doing it hard and they're making it happen. And then the next, you know, after that, you'll be that person too. You it'll happen to you. It'll rub off on you. I'm telling you, 
what I'm saying. I, I'm just saying this thing is powerful, Dwayne. Yes, this yes, is who yes. I am. This is what I do. My mentor does not play with me. My mom didn't play with me. My grandma Rogers didn't play with me. My three sisters did not play with me. My husband does not play with me. We make things happen in our lives. And you got that same power. When you figure out what it is you want to do, then by God, go get it. Go make it happen for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. You got the power to do it. And the power is in your hands. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even have physical hands. Let me stand up. I don't even have physical hands. I'm only four or five inches tall, but I make things happen for myself. Make it happen. I make it happen. Mm -hmm. you got that power to do it the same thing. You can do it too. I don't know what you're going through, but I'm telling you tonight, get rid of all that stuff that you're going through. Yes. Remove the excuses. Make mm -hmm. it happen for yourself. Get your stuff back. Get your dreams off the shelf. Get Money. your hopes and aspirations off the shelf. Polish your book. Polish your res your resume. Whatever it is you want to do, I'm telling you tonight that you can do this. Yes. Wow. You know, as I just listened to the last three of uh, staying focused, get a mentor, you know, encourage yourself, you know, a lot of these things you're giving us, it's often overlooked because people become happy by chasing, they chase the carrot. And when they chase the carrot, they get distracted. You can't be focused if you're chasing the carrot. I couldn't imagine what books we would read if, in fact, you got distracted when someone came over to you and said, hey, you ought to try this. Yeah. And when you was painting, someone pulled you away and tell you, you ought to be doing this. Or maybe when you were uh, uh, busy encouraging yourself and getting that mentor, what it would have meant if somebody said, hey, you ought to go into acting. They could have told you that. You know it. Somebody could have told you, hey, why don't you do this and write children's stories? Guess what? I love the fact that you stayed grounded. I love that when things got tough, you didn't get running. And what really gets to me is, you because you were taught as a young person, there, there's no you could do anything you put your mind to. It was easier for you to find your passion. So, as you tell these folks, we're, we're I mean, that's really what's happening here. You got us going, but I thank you so much for helping some of our people to, to be focused. You know, every five minutes, or I should say about every five days, someone comes along with something new that will pull us away from what we were created to do. That's People right. will come by. Sometimes it comes disguised as a very pretty face. That's Other right. times it comes disguised with a nice with, with, with a nice gadget, wadget, I mean gadget that goes with it and have batteries. Sometimes it comes along with a pretty website. But I thank you so much for the importance for people to know. It's not about any company they belong to. It's about when you find where you belong, Stay focused, Absolutely. even when it's not easy. So thank you so much. Love it. You keep going. I'm just, I'm just sitting here just relishing in the moment. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm unarmed, but I'm dangerous. <laughs> and, you know, that book title, it, it just, it's just so powerful because, you know, unarmed but dangerous is not, that title is not physical. It's mental because unarmed but dangerous, that's who I am. You know, you don't need a gun. You don't need a weapon. <laughs> your gun is your mind, your skills, your abilities, and your gifts. Go get your stuff back. I'm telling you tonight, you got the power to do anything but fail. I want you to ask, I want, I want, I want to ask you something. Mm -hmm. What is it that you want to do? with your life right now that you have not done. And then I want to ask you why. Why haven't you done it? You said you want, were going to do it. But why haven't you done it? I don't want you to leave this earth taking your gifts to the grave. I want you to Move on your gifts. Whatever it is you said you wanted to do, I challenge you tonight. 
to make it happen for yourself. Matter of fact, I, I dare you to do it. I D-double dare you to make it happen for yourself. When I was a child, that's what people used to do to me. They used to dare me. I, I dare you to do this. I dare you to do that. I bet you can't do this. I bet you can't do that. And every time they said I, what I couldn't do, Dwayne, mm -hmm. my God, the next time they saw me, I was doing what they said I could not do. So I'm challenging you tonight. I dare you. I D-double dare you to go do what you're supposed to do. Because we're all assigned for something. You were born to yeah. and, and assigned to do something in this life. Mercy. Yes, So, right. So what legacy will you leave? What 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 great thing will you leave? You know what book or almanac will 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 write will be you know uh, see sign assigned for you? What what can you do? What is it that you want to do with your life that you haven't done? I'm telling you, your legacy is so important. My legacy is powerful. Mine is just simply this: she was unarmed but dangerous. She didn't take. She, you know, she didn't mm -mm, do, she didn't talk about it. She made, she was about it. You know, I'm about my father's business every day, Dwayne. Sometimes mm. I stutter. Sometimes I forget. You know, I had a stroke three years ago and, wow. and the doctors didn't know what kind of stroke it was. It didn't take me physically. It, you know, I, I didn't have the physical effects. It just took my memory and wow. the enemy wanted to take me out of here. You know, November 27, 2011, you know, that was the day that I said, okay, God, I think I'm done with speaking. And he said, uh-uh-uh, this is just another level for you. So like I tell people, sometimes I might forget, sometimes I might stutter, but guess what? I'm still in my game. I'm still doing it hard. I'm still pushing people to the next level. And you got that same power. I don't know what your interruption was, but mine was a stroke three years ago. But whatever your interruption was or is, I'm telling you tonight to remove that thing and go to the next level. Be on the other side side of whatever it is you said you had to overcome. That's who I am. I'm unarmed, but I'm dangerous. And as a matter of fact, Dwayne, I am campaigning because my best-selling book, Unarmed But Dangerous, will be featured as my debut movie. Woohoo! I'm excited, <laughs> and I want somebody else to be excited with me because in a minute, I'll be on the silver, silver screen. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting the movie. I'm excited about what I'm doing and what God is doing through me. So I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but there's a book and a movie and a series and a production in you too and a business. I'm telling you, whatever it is you want to do, you can do this. You got the power. You got the greatness. Now go get your stuff back. Wow. I tell you, tonight, if you're just arriving, some of you are getting recently getting here, this is Tawana Williams. She's telling you right now what it's all about. It's a word of no excuses. She's a published author, painter. She's a fast typer. And guess what? She literally is naive enough to believe that she can do anything she puts her mind to. How about that? And guess what? She's proven it to be true. So tonight, you have her. She's right here. Tawana Williams, continue. Let us have it, darling. Unarmed but dangerous. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I was blessed to be born without arms. What were you blessed and born with? You know, whatever it is you were blessed and born with, go get your stuff. Go make it happen. Go help somebody. You know, Dwayne, all five books that I've written, mm -hmm. every book that I've written, it wasn't for me. It was to help somebody else. I yes. know what to do. I know how to do the thing. Trial and error showed me how to get it done. I kept doing it. I kept falling. And every time I fell down, I got up again and again and again. And you got that same greatness, ladies and gentlemen. You know, go write your story. Go help somebody. It's not about you. It's not about me. You got the power to get your stuff done. Go get your stuff before you leave this earth. I challenge you today to make it happen, to step up your A game. You know, not just stepping it up, stepping it all the way to the A game. Good God. Step it up. 
Make it happen for yourself. You got the power to do this. If I did it without arms, <laughs> by God, what can you do? What is it that you want to do with your life right now that you have not done? You got the power to do it. Go get it. Somebody said, Tawana, you're killing it. Yes, I am. I'm doing it up. <laughs> I'm excited about it. I'm excited yeah. about my life. I'm excited yeah. about your life and what you're going to do. I want to hear some praise reports with you know within the next month or so. I want an email praise report. Let me know the power you possess after this night. And let me know what what's possible for you after this. I want to know because I know what I do and I know what you can do. It's possible if I did it without arms. You can do it too, so I'm excited. Yes, and you know we're gonna, we're gonna bring you back anyway, so you're gonna be able to check up on folks because yes. I can't go too long with having you having you with us. I'm so grateful. <laughs> I'm so grateful that we have this platform, um, our our webinar system, because so many have heard you in conference calls and things like that. But I think it's so important for you to give that connection yes. where they can look into your eyes and see the passion and know it's not. This is not a sales pitch. This is not just words. This is it. This is the real deal. So thank you so much for being here and sharing yourself with us. Absolutely. Thank you so much. What, what do you want to do now? You want to do some questions and answers? I would I love think, it. I think that would be good. What I'd like to do is I'm going to start off with a couple of questions and open up for them to ask questions. Yeah. But when they ask a question, we'll always go to the next one because there's usually, depending on, because we're using a Google technology, it may be about 90 seconds or so before we see their response. So okay. let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and tell them right now what every question is for Ms. Tawana, Mrs. Mrs. Williams, right? Um, I want you to go ahead and type in your question. We're going to get as many of them knocked out as we can. What I would also like to do is certainly um, start off with a question or two that some may have here tonight that I believe it's important for all of us. I know you've touched me. As if you look over in the other room right now, I'm in West Palm Beach visiting my youngest son, and uh, my kids are more musical than I am, and I need to learn how to learn how to play. I got a lot of music inside of me. I never did it. I've been so busy with stuff. So you spoke to me. There's a whole bunch I want to do before it's time to go. As I approach 50, um, certainly that's one of them, you know. And um, but I'm going to talk, ask a couple, a question for you that I think will be helpful for everyone. My question is what can you, you've been there, you've talked about um, um, addiction, you talked about even recovering mentally and physically from uh, uh, being uh, uh, raped or attacked, things like that. What could you, is there something that a person had a first step to recovering from some of life's dark hours for them? Maybe they just recently buried someone they love, maybe for the first time in their life they're alone, no more living relatives. I don't know. Everybody's got a story. Could you kind of walk us through the next step for some of the dark hours that people are going through? Because these folks who are here with you, I love them. And, and there have, some of them are having the darkest hours. Some of them have seen uh, a, a foreclosure, repossession of whatever assets they have. Some have nobody left because the people they love most have been taken by illness or some other way. What can you talk to us about, Lovely? Help us through this piece. Wow. You know, one of the things for me that I had to uh, deal with in the beginning after the addiction and the abuse, I had to forgive. You know, forgiveness is a very um, important step in life for many, many people. Um, for me, being raped by my stepfather, you know, that was a real tough pill to swallow. Um, so at some point I had to forgive him. And then, I, you know, I had to forgive myself because I was the one that was bitter and angry. So I had to release the forgiveness and, you know, and forgive for, for me, I had to forgive myself and then I had to release it and give it to God, if, if that makes sense. I don't know what what you who you are and what your belief is, but I believe that, that, that for me. My higher power is God and the Lord. You know, so for me, I had to um, forgive. It it was hard. It was a challenge. But in order to go to the next step and in order to be forgiven, 
I had to forgive. And so I don't know who I'm talking to right now. Somebody might be forgiven, might might be going through some things that, um, you know, so a challenge that you might need to forgive someone in your life. So I don't know. But for me, Dwayne, it was it was it was hard for me. Life was not easy for me. You know, all of the challenges and all of the mistakes and all of the bad things that had happened to me, I realized that it wasn't for me. It was to help somebody else. And, okay. you know, it, it's it's really, it's, somebody said it, said it best. Hurt people hurt people. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and I was hurt. And and they were they were hurt. They hurt me, and then they hurt other people. And so I didn't want to let that cycle continue. So I realized that I had to uh, suck it up, you know, put my big draws on, mm -hmm. and and forgive, and go to the next level, and toughen up, and make it happen for myself. And that's what I did. I hope I helped somebody with that. Well, you, you, it's definitely it's great stuff. You know, you're not pulling any punches. And we appreciate that so much because, as I, you know, we know everybody has some dark hours regardless of what they have or what they don't have. Yeah. Um, another question has come through, Tawana, is, you know, what did you, I mean, I mean this could, I don't want to paraphrase, let me read it again. What was your turning point towards tapping into your inner power? What was that? And by the way, before you answer, this is the first night of a Women in Power series that's going to go on for a whole week. I bet you can see why I started off with Tawana Williams. That's the mm -hmm. first thing I want to say. The second thing is, as this young lady, Jennifer, is asking about what was your turning point for tapping into your power, this is great stuff because this whole webinar series is all about women who've tapped into their power. So please, let's, let's, let's let her have that answer, um, and then we'll go to the next one. Yes. Um, for me, my turning point, you know, it was for me – it was in August of 1991 that I realized that I couldn't live my life this way anymore. You know, I was raggedy. I was a crackhead. I was abused. I was hurt. And as the statement said, hurt people hurt people. I was just all over the place in my life. I was living a chaotic lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And on August of 1991, I don't remember the specific day, but it was in August of 1991. That was my rock bottom. I didn't lose my home. I didn't lose my daughter. I didn't lose my this or my that. I almost lost my mind. And mm -hmm. on that day, I said, God, if you're real, you got to help me. I said, I can't do this anymore. I said, either kill me in my sleep or deliver me from this lifestyle. Deliver me from these drugs. And the next day, Dwayne, it was over. I'm telling you, it was like a metamorphosis. It was just mm -hmm. a transformation that was instant. I went to sleep. Well, I said it. I went to sleep. The next morning, it was over. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, I don't know how it happened. That was not my business. I, I realized today that the how is not my business, and the how is not your business either. That's God's <laughs> business. All I was supposed to do was speak what I wanted, tell the Father what I needed and what I wanted, and it, and it happened. And so that was my rock bottom. That was the day that I realized that, okay, there is more. Tawana Williams, you were born for greatness. You can do all things. You can do anything. And, and you know, it just began to resonate in my heart. Yes, I can do it. Yes, I can do it. I was like that little engine that could. Yes, I can do it. Yes, and, and I just continued to speak it. And then, you know, day after day, I just move forward step by step by step. Yes, I fell down. As I said earlier, I got up again and again and again. That's who I am. I'm unarmed, but I'm dangerous. You know, I got to say this. First of all, I know that what you're saying is resonating with people in a great way. Yes. But this webinar is over. You and I both know you can't possibly give people enough information in the point of one hour um, that will be enough for them to hold on too long after it's over. Yeah. And so before we go any further, I want to go ahead and share with people um, your website because your books are amazing. Then long after this webinar is over, 
one of the most amazing things that can happen is we can get more of it more often, more consistently, so we can live in it. So I'm going to go ahead and share with everybody right now. I just did. I want you to go out to the website, and is um, if I'm understanding this right, with any book purchase, you get a free DVD, so you can continue to hear this long after the webinar is over. Did I say that right? Absolutely, that's right. Any book. Tell uh, us about the names of the books. Okay. All right, we know about uh, 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 Unbound and Dangerous. We know uh -huh. about that. Tell yeah. us about the others. Okay, my children's book is titled I'm Different But I Can. And it's a children's book slash activity book. Um, the it. rhyming phrases and pictures and showing how I do what I do. And then at the end of the book, we have a um, activity book series where we have crosswords and puzzles and it is an awesome awesome book for young people um, from the ages of from one to about nine or ten years old then of course unarmed but dangerous is my bestseller which uh -huh. will be featured as my debut movie then the next book is titled motivation for the soul move mm -hmm. or be moved that book was uh, it, it's a, it's a collaborative book with 17 of my friends. We all decided um, that we were going to tell tell our story in a chapter, and so everybody did their chapter, and it's powerful. And I published all five of my books, self published. So, okay. um, motivation for the soul, move or be moved, the collaborative book. Then. My next book is titled The Bomb, Systems That Create a Wealthy Mindset. Let me say that one more time. The Bomb, Systems That Create a Wealthy Mindset. That book is so powerful. It's about strategies and information and tips and quotes, and it's just power packed. That book will take you to the next level in your life. So, Check out The Bomb, Systems wow. That Create a Wealthy Mindset. And then my latest book, my fifth book, is titled Mind Interrupted, Experiencing Technical Difficulties. As I said, I had a stroke three years ago. The doctors say it was a stroke. We realized, my family realized, we realized that it was just an interruption. It was just a hiccup. So I thank God for all five books, the resources. Uh, Mind Interrupted, that book will challenge you to move to the next level in your life also. Because as I said, we all have interruptions in our lives. Yours might not be a stroke. Yours might not be addiction. But we all have something that we need to move to the other side of. So I challenge you to purchase a book. Any book that you purchase tonight, um, you will receive a free DVD with my presentation, with demonstrations, and showing you how I use my feet and how I figured it out daily, time wow. and time again. Wow. I will tell you this. My dear, yes. uh, I'm excited about the books, and uh, on that same website, you all can find out when she's going to be near your city speaking. Certainly, we'll have her back here for uh, uh, future webinars, but today, you're being in touch. You're being able to connect with uh, Tawana Williams, who just does this for around the You heard her say it. For the first seven years, they did it for free. Yes, let me give you the website again. Sorry about that, folks. I, I gave it to you earlier. Hang on. I'll put, I'm going to put it in the window for you. Um, again, so you can... Yeah, let me see here. One second. Okay. There we go. Got it. I'm going to put it right in the window. Um, and um, certainly they did it for free. It's not for her. She's got it. She knows this stuff. She's given her life to, for others, which all of us were created in, in a way... For, to, to benefit others, not just ourselves. We weren't given all we have for ourselves. Yeah. So um, as we kick off this series and prepare for the close of this webinar, what other questions do you have? You see, it comes a time, we get messengers sent to us in our lives. Sometimes they're in public settings like this, yeah. in this virtual webinar. Sometimes they're live. You meet someone in the grocery store or on the bus. You meet them at the park at school, but now tonight, you've each been able to meet this amazing young lady, which you, in some cases, some of you have never heard of her, others have. What other questions do you have so she can help empower you? Get out and get the books, and then Tawana is going to send you a DVD so you can actually benefit from these words of wisdom long after this webinar is over.
Amen. Yes. yes. You're welcome. So, um, as we go out, what, any any closing out messages? Uh, while we're thinking of any more questions, any close out messages you want to give them? And I got a surprise for you. Um, with one of my companies, I actually have these you know, these events that go on internationally. And then one of the next ones I have in the United States, I want you to come and give us some message publicly. We have people from around the world that come to these meetings. I'd love to have you there sharing the same empowering messages. Okay. Absolutely. I would love that. So and tell me, what kind of closing message do you have for our friends and loved ones here? <laughs> well, you know, I just want to let you know that all things are possible. <laughs> if yeah. you can, if you want it, then go get it. You know, you can do this. If I did it without arms, by God, you can do it too. Yes. Whatever it is you want to do with your life right now, I'm telling you tonight that you can do it. If you want it, then go get it. <laughs> I'm Tawana Williams, your messenger of hope and inspiration. And I was blessed, excuse me, and I'm, I want you to hold on to these words. I'm at the end now, Tawana. I'm ready to go some more, Dwayne. <laughs> but I'm Tawana Williams, your messenger of hope and inspiration. And I want you to hold on to these words. Until we meet again, I know that I will, even without arms. God bless you and God bless your dreams. Thank wow, you. you guys heard it. Guess what? She just gave you the tip that you too can become dangerous whether you're armed or unarmed. Whether That's you right. have sight or no sight, you too can become dangerous. Attacking these things you were created to attack. Addressing these things you've been created to address. Yes. My goodness, what a way to kick this off. Now, I've told folks, you know, I understand what happens when the power that's what's inside of a woman is unlocked. Now, granted, I know the, the great thing about principles, they work the same for everyone that uses them. I know that. But one of the most beautiful things I've seen throughout history, in times when women weren't supposed to speak much, when they weren't supposed to vote, when a woman uh, 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 was not able to participate in conversation, even in church, what I've seen throughout reading history is the kind of power you've been talking about. In spite of man-made limitations, there are none. And tonight, for what you've given us, I can't thank you enough except to send my love to you and your husband and let you know we certainly aren't done with you. We want some more of the danger. We want you to come back. My name is Dwayne Golden, folks, and I'm here as the CEO of Cybernetical Live, the webinar system that is open to all at any time to use so you can be empowered, so you can use this software so that your life, too, can be changed and whatever platform you choose. Once again, thank you for being here. Tonight is night one of our amazing Women in Power kickoff, and we've done so with the amazing shotgun, boom, Da Bomb, the author of Da Bomb, to kick this <laughs> off for us, Tawana Williams. Everyone, you guys have a great night. God bless you. Thank you so much for being here. You've been a tremendous audience. Don't forget to get that book, Get Moving, Get Grooving. Take care. All right. Thanks, Dwayne. Love